I'm really trying to be that productive couponer that I know I can and should be. So today I'm back with another video. What's up guys? Today we are at Dollar General. I'm going to be showing y'all an any day deal, day deal you can do now, whatever you want to call it. Um, that can be taken advantage of any day this week, or you can wait till Saturday and of course throw it into your 5025 deal to come out with a better deal. We will be taking advantage of that 5 off 15 per seal, snuggle, Purex, all coupon that popped up. I think we get it like maybe once or twice every month. But like I said, you want to make sure to clip that coupon, even if you don't know what day of the week you want to do it. Because a lot of times when the, when that coupon comes around with like the per seal coupon and all of that to go with that coupon, one of the two is always gone by Saturday. You don't want that problem. So clip these coupons now, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to show three different variations of that coupon, how to take advantage of it during the week. Um, while I'm here, I might as well go and do my 5025 video too. So I might be here a little long. But anyways, this one should be quick. This one should be short. Just showing you three different ways to take advantage of that coupon. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing, joining the family, as well as giving this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are a Walgreens shopper or you want to get into Walgreens shopping, I have two videos up. I did one like massive haul. And I did one more geared to beginners. So check check both of them out, honestly. But definitely check out the beginner-friendly one. And hopefully it would help you understand how to shop at Walgreens and how to keep that out-of-pocket low. Um, other than that, let's head inside and let's get into the deals. All right, y'all. So we're in the store. Like I said, we're going to be taking advantage of that 5 off 15 coupon for Perseo, Purex, Snuggle, All. Am I missing something? I don't know if I said Purex. But those products. So as long as you can mix and match, as long as your total is at least $15, your subtotal, that $5 will come off. And then, of course, to maximize your savings, you want to throw in items that have digital coupons or cashback offers. Now, the difference between a digital coupon and a cashback offer is that digital coupons apply at the register cashback deals. Um, you see that on the back end. So after the transaction is complete, the money will be accredited to your Dollar General account. And then... You will pull up the barcode and scan it at the register to use it on a future transaction. I hope that makes sense. So for scenario one, really simple. We're going to pick up this 75 ounce bottle of Perseal on sale for $9.95. We have a $2 digital. Um, and then the 40 ounce Perseal on sale for $5.50. We have a dollar and 25 cent cash back. If you don't have that $2 digital, there's also a $2 and 50 cent cash back. So if you don't have it, you will pay $2 more, but then get $2.50 cash back. So before coupons, the total comes out to $15.45. After your digitals, it's going to drop you down to $8.45, getting back $1.25 cash back for the Brazil, making the final cost just $7.20. For the second scenario, we're going to kick it off the same way, picking up the 75-ounce bottle of Brazil and clipping that $2 digital. And then check to see if your store has the 90 ounce bottle of Snuggle priced at $8. We do have a $2 digital, but it only attaches to um, the 90 ounce. My store has the 96 ounce bottle, so my two, that $2 digital doesn't attach to any of these. So if that's the case, what I suggest you to do is see if you have this Snuggle. It is the 100 ounce bottle. We do have a dollar and 25 cent cash rebate so it's going to be very similar to the one with the for sale so let me show you so these two products right here y'all see my little notebook that's so ghetto anyways these two products before coupons will come out to $15.65 um you would pay $8.65 but then get back the dollar and 25 cent cash back for the snuggle making the final cost just $7.40 so only 20 cents more than the first scenario picking up the big bottle of Priscilla and the little bottle of Priscilla. I actually think this is like the deal I'm going to do right here. Um, because I was going to do the small snug on the small Priscilla, but I think this is a better deal getting detergent and fabric softener. And then for the last scenario, I came up with we're just mainly going to be taking advantage of cashback rebates. So you're going to pick up one of the 96 ounce bottles of Snuggle. Remember, they're $8. You want to clip that dollar and 25 cent cashback rebate. Next, grab one of the 36 ounce bottle of the All Free and Clear. It is priced at $5 and we do have a dollar um, cashback rebate. And then to get us to the $15 amount to take advantage of that 5 off 15 coupon, you want to pick up the 40 count 
um, snuggle dryer sheets priced at $2 and we have a 50 cent cashback rebate. These three products are going to total out to exactly $15. Um, make sure all your cashback rebates and that 5 off 15 coupon is clipped. You're going to pay $10 at the register, but then get back a total of $2.75 cashback, making a final cost for these items just $7.25. Now, like I already mentioned, this is the deal that I will be taking advantage of today. I'm going to head up to the register checkout, and then I'll show you guys my receipt. And then here is that receipt. Everything went smoothly. My digitals came off. So I paid the $8.65 plus tax. So now I'm just waiting on the cash back. Now, in my experience, I've waited up to two hours. I think like an hour, two hour frame. But I have heard that it can take up to 24 hours. Yeah, today's a good day. And I also completed my 5025 scenarios for Dollar General. So if not later today, they will be posted first thing in the morning. Early enough for y'all to prepare and clip y'all coupons. I love y'all. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.